Summer has finally arrived. It's about 25 to 29 degrees this week, which is not exceptionally hot, of course, but it's just a bit too warm for my likes. I prefer 15 to 20 degrees to work in. And you say it's Italy, so hot weather guaranteed. But that's why I like this spot a lot, because it has a, it has a microclimate. And in winter it's about 5 degrees warmer here than in the valley. And in summer it's about 5 degrees colder here than in the valley. So it's nicely balanced. Yeah. So let's see this week. Uh, we're going to make the little windows in the barn. And then, um, yeah. Let's see what else we can do.
the reason why I'm taking away all these flowers, um, they're called fleabane. I have to look up the Latin name. They are an invasive species here. They come from the United States. And um, even though they're beautiful, they do self-seed so prolifically that they make it hard for native plants to, to grow, so they're a bit too competitive. We have them a lot growing in our meadows. So I'm pulling them before they set seed um, so that they can't spread further and probably will have to be doing this for, I don't know, maybe for six years, uh, five, six years before we get rid of them. Um, I doubt we'll ever get rid of them completely because they do grow everywhere uh, around us. But we would like to encourage native plants to grow in our meadows. So we are putting in some effort to control the spread. And um, next year we will, because I we've only learned this quite recently, a few weeks ago, um, when they were already flowering, but next year we will be mowing um, the flower meadows before they start to flower. Luckily they have a fairly uh, weak root system so it's quite easy to pull them up uh, root and all so that's um, that's what we're doing now They've got quite distinctive white flowers with um, a yellow heart with very narrow spiky flower leaves. The leaves on the stem are quite long and pointy while the rosette has broader, more rounded leaves. The young leaves are edible and they taste a little bit like radish but they're also quite hairy which makes them less pleasant to eat raw. I haven't yet tried cooking with them. Perhaps that's something for next spring. Wildflowers that we want to encourage to grow include St. John's wort, mullein, blue cornflower, maiden's tears, common chicory, just to name a few that are currently flowering. Because I know some of you will ask about whether we have ticks here, the answer to that is yes. And the reason why I'm going into the tall grass wearing a skirt anyway is because I have noticed that regardless of what you wear, they still find a way to get in. And I notice them much quicker when wearing shorts or a skirt than wearing long pants. They also tend to be more active in the early spring when the grass is still green and juicy and less so now that it's all turning yellow.
It's already the second day in a row. I don't want to work. Maybe I have to buy a new strimmer. Yeah, the workshop is slowly coming together. But one thing still missing is a shop vacuum cleaner. Soon. There we are, four window frames done. They just need some beading and a little paint and glass and then we have windows again here. I really enjoyed uh, making these. It's the first time ever making window frames. Uh, I've never worked much with wood either. But you know, it was fun to do. I just, yeah, it's a pity I didn't take into account the, the width here of the rebated rabbit space for the glass, so the dowels I had to cut into them. 
but they're still sturdy enough. There's no sideways movement anywhere, and they will perfectly serve their purpose in these small uh, window holes here in the in the barn in the in the workshop. It's also nice. I could make them out of scrap wood. So yeah, on the whole, I'm happy.